Nobody likes to lose, but wrestlers should hate it more than most. After all, it's the pain of losing that can only make the winning so important. Think about many of the most bought wrestling matches of all time. Often, it's not about whether someone can win that sells you on the pay-per-view, but actually, you can't imagine neither man losing. Whether kicking the proverbial toys out from the pram and crying foul, or simply getting even on an opponent who outperformed you, being a bad loser is imperative for heels in wrestling, and by the same token, being so devastated at losing that you initially sucker punch is a must for even the proudest of baby faces. From spitting in your boss's face to damaging more than your annual salary and equipment damages, let's examine the top 10 instances where performers provided more entertainment after they had lost than we ever could have bargained for. I'm Simon from What Culture, and this is the 10 best ever reactions to losing a wrestling match. Number 10, Hogan vs. Warrior at WrestleMania 6. The Ultimate Warrior vs. Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 6 is classic era WWF at its finest. In many ways, the peak of WWF's first big surge in pop culture, this wasn't merely two wrestlers colliding, but two larger than life, all powerful giants battling it out for the mantle of carrying the company into the brave new world of the 1990s. Of course, we all know Warrior won the match in the WWF title, but he got worked so well by by Hogan after the bell that he probably didn't win the war. The lasting image of WrestleMania 6 is the sight of the Hulkster graciously handing his WWF title to Warrior in such a well-acted, sympathetic way that he came off like the true star of the company. Warrior was just holding on to the Hulkster's property for a while like a thief in the night. A passing of the torch this wasn't, and the success of both men's careers after this night would only rubber stamp that point. Only Hulk Hogan could win by losing his WWF title. Number 9, Santino wasn't ready at Royal Rumble 2009. At the 2009 Royal Rumble, Santino's entire purpose on the WWE roster was summed up in just a few seconds. Entering late in the 30-man over-the-top rope match, Santino marched down the aisle with the grand delusion of headlining WrestleMania when, that's because you can say Kane, he found himself in the history books for the fastest ever Rumble elimination. Like any talentless friend you ever competed with in your life, Morella pleaded with ringside referees to give him another shot as he simply wasn't ready. The sight of Santino begging for a second chance remains one of the more memorable sights of a fallen rubble competitor in its entire history. Number 8, Christian's temper tantrums at WrestleMania 18. At Mania 18, Christian lost his WWF European title to Diamond Dallas Page in just over six minutes, but he was determined to have all eyes on him after the bell rang in his hometown of Toronto. In a moment that would in some ways forge the rest of his career, Christian literally became a crybaby, dropping himself to the mat, arms flailing and legs kicking, screaming like a kid refused ice cream in the mall. And I'm sure that's the wrestler he dreamt on being when he was a child himself. Christian then had quite the temper tantrum, a grown man acting like a spoiled child who didn't get his own way in front of approximately 68,000 people. And that, my friends, is entertainment. Number 7, The Undertaker Can't Face His Fans at WrestleMania 30. There may never be a better fan reaction to a match result than that of Ellis Embe, or shocked Undertaker guy. Looking for all the world like he'd just seen a ghost and won the lottery in the same second, Ellis summed up every fan watching in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome and the millions at home as The Undertaker's legendary WrestleMania winning streak came to an end in 2014. Brock Lesnar had done the impossible, leaving Taker lying on the ring canvas after ending a winning run that stretched back to 1991. One. Just about the only true thing wrestling fans still believed in. Staring up at the lights, the dead man slowly hauled himself up to the stunned silence inside the cavernous arena, where just over 75,000 fans forgot who they were for a second and glued to history playing out before their very eyes. With referees, commentators, and every damn person in the building rising to their feet and clapping their hands out of respect, a spine-chilling moment played out where The Undertaker was too overcome with emotion to even look at his audience. That's not something any of us will ever forget, especially if, like me, this moment was spoiled for you by some asshole. Can you believe? Number 6, Vince McMahon goes bald at WrestleMania 23. Vince McMahon's over-the-top mannerisms are legendary. His trademark big gulp, exaggerated strut, and booming voice have been parodied for years by wrestling fans everywhere. At WrestleMania 23, Vince watches Umaga fail to defeat Bobby Lashley, meaning he'd blown his wager with Donald Trump and that his hair would have to be shaved right off in the middle of the ring. Pinned to a chair, Vince kicked and screamed his heart out as he became follically challenged before his time. And let me tell you, there's nothing wrong with it. When Vince caught a glimpse of his bald self, though, the look on his face was priceless. Nobody remembers anything about that match, but rather everything that came after. And as a side note, it also put an end to the long-standing rumour that Vince's hair wasn't altogether his own. It definitely was. 
Number 5. Kurt Angle doesn't remember he lost at Royal Rumble 2000 Kurt Angle's WWF run was only a few months old by the time the 2000 Royal Rumble rolled around, but a notable undefeated streak had been built up by the Olympic gold medalist. At the event, in a stroke of genius, WWE managed to find a way to put over Angle even in defeat. In coming from ECW to a thunderous reaction from the MSG crowd, Taz hit a bevy of suplexes that made Kurt look like he'd been shot out of a cannon. The human wrecking machine locked on his trademark Taz mission hold as from behind the announce desk, Jerry Lawler screamed that this was a choke. The referee decreed that Angle had passed out from the pain and Taz was declared the winner. Later, Kurt himself claimed he couldn't remember what had happened and wasn't entertaining the idea that he could have lost. His no-selling of the defeat only led to fans' desire to see him lose again and it was almost like it never happened. Number 4. Chris Jericho and Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 19 The story going into WrestleMania 19 centered around Chris Jericho wrestling his own childhood idol in Shawn Michaels. Patterning himself after the heartbreak kid, the Canadian star now wanted to prove himself against his hero. The story was heartfelt and the match ended up being a modern classic. After over 20 minutes of what can only be called wrestling art, Jericho lost to the man he had watched for years. The pair embraced in the middle of the ring and that's when things turned sour. Jericho had so badly wanted to beat HBK, he was overcome with emotion when Michaels hugged him in a sign of friendship and respect. But in one of the truest moments to his Y2J character ever, Jericho planted a petulant kick right to Sean's groin. In a moment that proved Michaels to be a master of the subtle, he fell into Jericho's arms. The student then dropped his teacher and fans booed wildly in Chris Jericho's direction. Number 3. Ric Flair Says Goodbye at WrestleMania 24 WrestleMania 24 was supposed to be the last chapter in Ric Flair's brilliant in-ring career. And so it was. Kind of, if you forget about TNA. When Shawn Michaels, who had always looked up to Ric Flair, hit the most emotional superkick in wrestling history, Flair was already in floods of tears because he knew this was the end. Post-match, Michaels let Rick bask in the afterglow of a legend finally saying goodbye after a lifetime in the business. The whole thing was incredibly sad. Kissing his hands and raising them to the audience, Flair repeatedly uttered thank you as he cried. Thousands cried with him in one of WWE's most powerful retirement angles of all time. Number 2. Bret Hart spits in the face of the boss at Survivor Series 97 Vince McMahon must have known this was coming. Moments after screwing his biggest star of the 90s, McMahon was right in the line of fire off Bret Hart who took approximately five Five seconds to digest what had just happened before he lobbed a loogie right into Vince's hair. And it was one he failed to get rid of. You remember? Goes to wipe it, misses it, never mind. The Montreal screw job became one of the defining moments in the history of wrestling. In a sign of genuine emotion, Brett promptly blew a gasket, breaking thousands of dollars worth of monitors and making it as well known as possible to the fans in attendance he was going to WCW. The reaction was as real as it gets and proves that no matter what scripting goes into wrestling, it's the genuine moments that will always be its biggest and most powerful seller. And if you don't think that well, that's good for you, but it's still true. Number 1. Shawn Michaels' Career Nobody could react to losing more poignantly than Shawn Michaels. After a quarter of a century of heartbreak and triumph, that's also the name of his book, so you see what I did there, the Showstopper's show was finally stopped with a glorious defeat to The Undertaker. It wasn't Michaels' first attempt at retiring either, because he'd unceremoniously shuffled away 12 years earlier at WrestleMania 14, and then there were few tears shed. This time, he was going to do it right. HBK saved the best for last, bowing out in a phenomenal Main event against the dead man at WrestleMania 26. After Taker finally buried the living legend, he enjoyed the briefest of celebrations before hoisting up the shattered Sean and engaging in a truly heartfelt embrace with his dear friend. He then left the ring quicker than you've ever seen, allowing Sean to soak in all the gratitude for an incredible career. Sean, the master at manipulating our emotions, was brought to tears. There's never been a more real moment in WWE, nor one so touching. The killer in you is the power. This is my world, my one and all. When you're ready and you're coming home back for more, you are my life, my living hell. When you tell me that you're breaking out, don't you know? We live and we lie and we cheat tonight. Quit sinning. Gosh, can you believe that that person said that about that particular video on that entry? I sure can't. Huh, but you should like, share and subscribe below anyway. And also the people who made this video, they're right here. Go follow them and give them some love. Also, there's more content probably above my head. Check it out. All done. 50-50.